A proud and confident Oregon football team returned for the 1989 season with a burning desire to atone for the misfortune of 1988. This was a team that had seen its bowl dream shattered a year ago with a season-ending five-game losing streak. But preseason optimism ran high. Ten starters returned on offense, including quarterback Bill Musgrave. The junior signal caller would go on to set single-season and individual game records formerly held by Chris Miller and Dan Fouts. Musgrave would have plenty of weapons at his disposal. Senior tailback Derek Lavelle would begin the year as the most prolific rusher in school history and would add the scoring mark to his long list of accomplishments. Wide receiver Terry Obie would finish among the all-time leaders in career receptions and become the number one punt returner for attempts and total yards in Pac-10 history. Coupled with a veteran offensive line, this unit would lead the conference in scoring and set a school record in the process with an average of 32 points a game. Defensively, preseason All-American cornerback Chris Oldham would live up to those expectations. He would be among the conference leaders in interceptions and lead the Pac-10 for the second year in a row in kickoff returns. Oregon would finish second to conference champion USC in total defense. Kicker Greg McCallum would surpass all school records. The sophomore from Seattle tallied 100 points, connecting on 22 of 29 three-pointers and 34 extra points. A record number of fans would pack Autzen Stadium. It would become one of the toughest venues in the Pac-10 for visiting teams. These fans had waited 26 years for a postseason invitation, and they would thrill in the excitement and success of the 1989 Oregon Ducks, a team that was bowl-bound.